first one is really exciting. I'm sure we'll see a ton more stuff about chat GPT and the, the remainder of the year. But basically, Instacart has a plugin now where it takes recipes and turns them into a basket. So say you're looking up how to make chicken piccata or you're talking about how to make chicken piccata. Chat GPT will take the recipe and put it in your Instacart cart. So it's a great way for those of us who don't want to have to think about it um, to, you know, have a cart built for you. And this is kind of similar, I think, to the text to shop functionality with Walmart. It's just a means to get new people in the funnel and get people who don't necessarily want to do the work, but do want to buy the products to be able to do so pretty quickly and easily. And the next also has a lot of parity with what we were just talking about, right? Shoppable video. So this is kind of the next step in video advertising. Um, it's not just video as an awareness tactic, but it's video in a way that's actually engageable and also can lead to convergence pretty much immediately. So essentially you're being shown a video and then you'll have either a link or some QR code that allows you to immediately purchase the products that you're seeing in these videos. So I think we'll continue to see this not just on Instacart, but really across all of the retail platforms that offer video advertising. And I think this is really exciting because we'll get more advertisers willing to utilize video that are kind of worried about it being kind of a black box and efficient uh, tactic. And the next is really interesting. Um, Instacart Health is essentially, Instacart is partnering with outside organizations like hospitals and doctors and health organizations to build a way to have a food as medicine kind of program for, for people. So essentially they'll group products together that are kind of health related and allow people to purchase them through these organizations or on their own. Um, so really exciting. Um, I think it's completely different from what we're saying with a lot of the other um, retailers and advertisers. And I think, again, it kind of speaks to Instacart being that kind of grocery forward platform. Yeah, just again, kind of echoing what I just talked about with Walmart, some really, really exciting capabilities and features coming soon. Um, to Instacart, there's publicly available information on the display and, and video API capabilities that will be out very shortly. And we've been, uh, working really closely with the team at Instacart on those last several months. And I think that, you know, they'll, they'll be just another feather, another, another arrow in the quiver for, for brands to use at Instacart. And I think you're right with video, you know, the trend started with SBV on, on Amazon and like they were phenomenal from like a performance perspective. Most brands, not, I mean, not, obviously not everybody, but for most brands, like sponsor brand video ad placements worked really, really well. And I think it's, you know, the engagement you can get with a consumer in that brief 10 seconds, 15 seconds is so much different than a static image that you have on a PDP page or you know, maybe a, even a quality um, display ad at the top or in a banner, wherever it may be. And I think video is just going to continue to be, um, a powerful asset and and i think you're going to see all platforms figure out a way to do that uh as well because obviously it leads to incremental spend in, in many instances because the performance is better so some really cool things happening with instacart um the, the the product team over there is is very innovative and they are running as fast as humanly possible to not get to parity that they are their their objective is to be the most advanced ad platform in, in the country and so uh it's exciting to watch that team uh, work and, and to work so closely with them and then in turn help you guys from a brand manufacturer perspective deliver good results.